This is a 2016 BMW S1000RR, just a beast of a bike, um, it's absolutely my favourite, but like all leader bikes that come out of the factory, they all go like the clappers and they handle brilliantly and um, there's really not, you know, I don't think there's any really bad bikes. Now this particular bike, um, I took it to the drags and ran it uh, at a local meet uh, in stock form. Now, we achieved a 10.38 second quarter mile with this bike, and the only advantage it had over a standard bike was the installation of uh, forged aluminium rims, which would be a weight advantage. Now, about a year later, we ran it again after we did some performance tuning, and we pulled 9.34 second quarter mile. And the difference between the first and second figures is that we had installed an SC Project Conic Exhaust, uh, a Power Commander Fuel Management System, and we'd installed a Sprint Filter. Now, one of the questions I wanted to answer was, uh, you know, how much difference does that sprint filter make? Because if you look at the marketing materials, it claims around about a two and a half horsepower increase just by fitting that filter. So we took this bike to the dyno and uh, we did it a couple of different ways. Um, on the first instance, we took it to a Dynajet dyno, which generally it's well renowned, have overinflated figures. But the before and after is what we're concerned with. So we ran this on the dyno with the factory uh, air filter installed and we achieved a 206.9 horsepower at the rear wheel result. We then installed the Sprint filter, the P08 version, and we achieved 209.8 horsepower. So that's an increase of 2.8 horsepower according to the Dynajet dyno. We then took it to another dyno, we ran it again, and this one was more inclined to give us the true dyno results. We achieved 164.3 horsepower at the rear wheel uh, with a factory filter and 166.7 horsepower at the rear wheel with the sprint filter installed. And that's an increase of 2.4 horsepower, which is fairly consistent with what the fact, uh, with, with what sprint filter claim in their marketing material, around about a two and a half horsepower increase for 1,000 cc motorcycles. So I was super impressed with these. Um, the reason for that performance is basically the airflow and uh, the way it allows the engine to breathe. So they're a pretty good combination hand in hand with an exhaust and a fuel management system. Um, now, we did a bit of research because I want to understand why is there such a difference and which filter is the best filter for these bikes. So uh, watch this and uh, I'll show you the results of my research. I was able to obtain from Sprint Filter um, some of the polyester gauze which is fitted to the Sprint filters. And in this particular case, this piece that was sent to us is, is what's fitted or installed in the P037, which is the filter that we've got installed in our R1200GS. It's a waterproof filter which allows in the vicinity of 4,500 litres per square metre per second of air to pass through it. So it's higher performing than the original air filter. Um, but what's intriguing about this particular material is first of all you'll notice that it's super super fine, it's like silk compared to the paper or cotton, it feels like paper, uh, or cotton type uh, material that we've got in this case the S1000RR filter. So I look at that and I look at this and I go you'd have to be a, you'd have to be a rocket science to work out the air is going to pass through this much better than that. Now I can breathe through it quite freely. Now what's interesting about it is if I attach this to a glass of water okay and turn that glass upside down what you'll notice is this stuff is waterproof. It doesn't allow the water to pass through, but it allows air to pass through. And that's one of the secrets of the whole, uh, this particular product. Um, and in the case of Sprint Filter, the P037 and the P08 F1-85 filter, uh, they're the two that come in a waterproof configuration. Um, now, the advantage or the primary advantage or the reason this performs so well is basically they allow air to pass through them at a much greater volume, you know, without compromising the engine than a factory filter. So there are four configurations that I'm aware of, the P08, uh, which we've got installed in the S1000RR, and that allows 5,050 litres per square metre per second to pass through it of air. There's the P16, which is a racing variant, um, that allows 10,000 litres per second, <laughs> litres per square metre per second to pass through it. Um, there is the P08 F1-85, which is the one that you would see in World Superbikes, uh, in MotoGP type bikes, it's the one that's installed in the Ducati Panigale V4R that's coming out in 2019, and it allows 15,000 litres per square metre per second of water to part of air to pass through the filter, and it is waterproof. Then there's the dual sport version, which is the P037, which we've got installed in the R1200 GS, 
That allows 4,500 litres per square metre per second of air to pass through the filter. It is waterproof and mudproof. And the cool thing about these filters is they do not need oiling. Um, the cleaning of the filter is quite simply a matter of pulling the filter out, blowing air in the reverse direction through it. And in extreme cases, you might soak it or something, particularly if it's exposed to mud. Uh, but generally the uh, cleaning is done um, with, an air, with an air gun and it's claimed that these would probably last the life of your bike. So there you have it. Super happy with these, uh, these filters. The P08 we've got installed on the double R definitely increases by about two and a half horsepower, uh, which is consistent with the factory claims. So there you have it. Go get yourself a sprint filter.